Well, hello there. It is me, the one known as Kingdom Ace. I've like to apologize because as always, we are uh, fashionably late. Um, it uh, turns out uh, I haven't been doing my job that well recently. Uh, <laughs> um, it's been almost a week since a video somehow. I feel like I just took a day or two. Like, I feel like every time I take the weekend off, it's been five days since I uploaded. It has been five days since the last video. Although I did do a stream three days ago. And because the VOD is out, it's technically only been three days since you've had content. And to be fair, that was a five hour, five and a half hour session, excuse me. So we aren't doing that bad. We aren't doing that bad. Um, also, a little bit of a tech upgrade. As you can see, we're using a new webcam. I think it looks significantly better. There's way less um, noise, I'd say. Um, the colors are way closer to what it actually looks like. You can especially tell by the chair. Um, you can actually see my skin discoloration, which is nice you could see my freaking pores you can see my actual eye color i like this camera a lot it should be good for 150 dollars. so you know I, I, let's hopefully i should make some videos to make that money back <laughs> yeah <clears throat> hello everyone and welcome to kingdom ace the show where we play games hopefully beat them and play the game my way colors are great looks like rain yeah, I think it looks a lot better. It has like some AI technology that that sharpens the image. It, it took some some fin, like finagling to get it like fully right, but we in there. We move. Randalorian in the chat. What's good? Uh, yeah, the longer videos kind of I feel like supplement that because it, mo it probably takes people a couple days to beat uh, to watch the whole thing. So I didn't feel as bad. No Skyrim stream ever hit five hours. I feel like one did, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Oh, um, if you guys haven't watched the recent videos where I kind of explain things um, for the last couple of videos, I've been really trying to up the ante. I really want to start pushing, at least experimenting with longer content. And honestly, three hours that we got is the minimum I want to try. Like, I want to like shock you guys with like a five hour six hour video just to really push it i probably would never go over six hours but like a five hour meaty video imagine you you just get home from work dang dang man that was a long day man you know you start warming up some food you check out your phone and you see you know uh, a new episode of the witcher by kingdom ace right there in your sub box it's like oh shoot a new witcher that sounds great and then you go and click the video and then you nearly spit out your oatmeal and it's five hours long dang bro you <laughs> guess we staying off all night <laughs> invite the homies over because we about to have a party you know six hours you crazy yeah i'm crazy but i know you guys like a little bit of crazy Honestly, you guys seem to really be receptive to the long stuff, both Mass Effect and The Witcher 3 in terms of actual like stats, in terms of like watch time retention and stuff like that. It actually did much better than the one and a half hours and stuff. I'm, I'm serious. Like even if the views were kind of the same, which is kind of what I was at minimum hoping for, though, the actual stats of the video outside of views in terms of like likes and watch time retention etc it was way better than usual like i'd almost say it was double you know and that's obviously really good for the channel i mean granted i can tell the sub growth on each video is way better because in two videos we've already gained over 300 subscribers since hitting 40k just three days ago you know like 33 days ago we hit 40k and we already got 300 subs up so those those videos were the biggest reason elden ring did help as well um, that's why that Elden Ring stream was that long, by the way. Um, but yeah, very good. <laughs> five to six hours. Th those would be five to six hours edited. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> your boy's not going to get sleep on no nights. 
I, I definitely, if I start making videos that long, I'll definitely have to change things. But yeah, realistically, the thing is, less views are okay for longer videos. Not everybody realizes it, but the most important thing about a video isn't actually the views. It's the watch time, at least in today's climate. Watch time is the most important thing because that's how the YouTube algorithm works. The longer you watch a video, the long, the more it's actually promoted in the algorithm. Say, for example, there's a one hour video and a four hour video. The the watch, the watch time of the four hour video has the potential to be higher than a one hour video. So like a, a one hour video can't have a two hour watch time, but a four hour long video can. And because of that, even with less views, YouTube will collectively get the data that says more people watch this video longer than this video does. So it's actually pushed in the algorithm more. So despite even if it has lesser views at first, it has the potential to grow higher and have better stats for it. You know, that's why you might have channels that have really good sub growth and stuff. And, you know, maybe you have a 200K channel that only gets maybe 10K views. You know, that's fine as long as the videos compensate for it. Jack, thanks for subscribing. Um, so in the end, yes, that like I'm I'm OK with how things are. Of course, I, I'm in this to grow as well. I mean, this is my full time job. But I want to you know, continue expanding, then yeah, I need to do better. Jadesio Master, thanks for subscribing. But yeah, that's that's at least my thing. Um, uh, I, I would really prefer to try to do this. I think I've just kind of struggled, um, but I, I missed the name, uh, I apologize. Uh, thanks for subscribing. Um, <laughs> I, I, I really, I think it's just, again, I got a comment about this. I think I'm just getting old. <laughs> uh, PG, thanks for subscribing. Um, <laughs> it's really hard for me to sit out and play a game for two hours. I'm not going to lie, like in both the Witcher video and the Mass Effect video, probably more in the Mass Effect video because of the specific day. Kevin, thanks for subscribing. Um, I think I got up during both those recordings like six times. I'm not going to lie. I mean, to you guys, it doesn't even look like I went anywhere. I just but in between like a jump cut there could be two hours in between that you know and you'd never know dax thanks for subscribing i appreciate you i just realized you have 40k subs i thought you had like 200k minimum hey y'all want to bless the channel we can be there at the end of the year what's what's good Roy Hopkins, thanks for subscribing and honestly um i i've no i've <laughs> I know you guys have probably noticed, but I'm definitely not the greatest when it comes to schedules. I feel like there's something an internal battle I have to fight because uh, Lucas, thanks for subscribing. Um, when I set a schedule for myself, I tend to because I'm 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 my own boss. I, I feel like it's not as bad to let my it's not as easy to let myself down. Stormbreaker, thanks for subscribing. Um, so like if I say I have to stream on Monday and Thursday, I'll be like, ah, who, who's going to yell at me if I don't stream on Monday? You know, it's fine. You know, it was a busy day. It's under they'll understand, you know, uh, Aiden, thanks for subscribing. It just I don't know. It, it's hard. <laughs> it, it, it's hard to sometimes balance things. Also, sorry for the impromptu stream. I'm not going to lie. It's been a pretty busy day, you know, not just because of the, the eclipse and stuff like that. I hope you guys actually got to see it. If it's where you guys have been at, um, not too sure. I think it might have just been a North America thing today, but um, I apologize for the impromptu stream. I honestly haven't had time to record at all today, and I'm not going to lie. Sometimes when it's later in the day and it's like three, four, five p.m., I'm like, ah, I might as well just not do anything today. Um, might as well take the day off and just do stat works and stuff like that, where I just study uh, the analytics and stuff like that. But I said, you know what? No, I'm going to uh, stream. I was going to stream at like 7 p.m. or 8 p.m. my time, which is like two more hours from now. But knowing you guys, a lot of you guys are in Poland. It's already stupid late for you guys. So I was like, you know what? Let me stream for a while, maybe three hours, uh, maybe four. And because tonight I have plans and it'd be nice to actually do that. Oh, yeah, Thank, I, I saw you guys were liking the picture I posted earlier and stuff. I see uh, Jonah posted uh, one, two, dude, that looks so freaking cool. <laughs> Yours is so cool, man. 
Love that. Definitely better than mine. Uh, past, it's midnight year, bro. Nothing else to watch. Dang. Wait, wait, what? You guys take time to just an analyze analytics? Oh, of course. If you're a YouTuber who considers yourself full time or somebody who'd like to be full time, you have to. You, you literally have to. That's why, again, no disrespect to anybody who like watches my videos and leaves tips and feedback and stuff like that. But 90% of the time, I don't always listen to feedback or I don't always adhere to it. Mostly just because you guys don't see the the stats that I see. You know, you guys can only really see the view count. I don't even think unless you have a plug in, you can't even really see the the dislikes or or likes on a video and stuff like that. I, you can see the likes, but still, um, you, you guys can't see what I see. So when I he see some people like saying, uh, you know, don't li don't like the long videos. It's, nobody wants to watch this. And I see the stats telling me the exact opposite thing. I'm obviously not going to listen to that because I, I see even no matter what you guys tell me, the stats don't lie. They're right there. You know? Yeah, I mean, right now, this is this is enough to have a full time job, at least. Because, I mean, I live with others, so the burden isn't as bad on me. if I was living completely by myself. Also, guys, if you guys move out, don't move out by yourself unless you're making that bank right now, bro. I mean, I'm still, you know, in my 20s, so it, it, it's still fine. I'm just just live with some people that can make it easier for you, some people you trust and leave it at that. But yeah. Would you play slightly uh, freaking games like uh, Subnautica? I would. I have tried to play Subnautica for many years. I've tried to play Subnautica for many years, um, but I am way too scared of water. I'm not going to lie. It says I've played five hours of, of Subnautica in my life, and I guarantee you that is me playing the first hour over and over again. The five different attempts I've tried. I am somebody who can't even swim in real life. I, I definitely... Uh, adhere to my uh stereotype <laughs> but hey man I, water is scary to me bro i'm sorry yeah roommates are best especially with rent yeah i mean that's what makes it livable and stuff you know each paycheck i just put towards some money yeah and it's I'm, I'm pretty comfortable florida man stereotype though uh i was just watching the news about how a woman uh had an alligator in her house so, uh, yeah, I'm in Florida. <laughs> Get feedback from someone knowledgeable. We stupid. Y'all aren't stupid and stuff. You guys' feedback matters, too, mostly just because you guys have a perspective I just don't have. You know, like you guys, not all of you are content creators, so your perspectives are non-biased and just honestly more flat out. You know, all you guys can really say which is what you like. And that's all I really need to know from you guys. Why, did, why is it always gators? I have no idea, man. It's funny because her scenario, we've had that exact same thing happen to us. When I was younger, a, a gator was like at our door banging on it and stuff, trying to get in. Dude, I remember it. It was the scariest day of my freaking life. But yeah, I did want to apologize again. Um, sorry, content has been a little bit sparse. I wanted to wait a little after the stream. I wanted to a couple days ago. I wanted to wait a little bit till I get my new webcam and stuff. Um, and I did send my old one off to a friend. So I hope he enjoys that. Um, and yeah, I, I really wanted to break this one in because there was a lot of settings. I just I, out of the box. I did not like how it looked at all, but I think it looks a lot better now. And I did not let him in. And if I did, I probably wouldn't be here right now. The Gator just wanted to be friends. Uh, we called the cops and the animal rescue or whatever thing people came in or whatever. The specialist who you normally take care of that kind of thing. He, the gator was gone, though. They couldn't find him. So, I mean, we never saw him again. The background music sounds like aquatic ambience from Donkey Kong Country. It is not, but it is from the same era. Uh, this song, if I remember correctly, uh, I don't remember which song I have playing, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Um, it is Corridors of Time from Chrono Trigger. You guys usually, if you hear that little melody I have at the beginning of videos, that's also from Chrono Trigger. Chrono Trigger is also one of the greatest games ever made. So, yeah. Corridors of Time is a classic, of course, Nocturne, you know. Uh, which game are you having more fun on Elden Ring, The Witcher, or Mass Effect? It's a tough um, thing, and I feel like not everybody wants the answer to that. Um, I have, I feel like in the moment, 
I enjoy uh, I enjoy The Witcher the most, but I think when I'm not playing any of them, I enjoy Mass Effect the most. Um, but again, most of you know by now, I'm very impar uh, partial towards sci-fi stories. So, and settings, I just, I love sci-fi, bro. I'm pretty sure one of the first movies I ever saw was Star Wars. You know, and I grew up watching Star Trek, Next Generations, Deep Space Nine, Voyager. So obviously I'm pretty into everything Mass Effect stands for. Um, and, uh, but I'd say it could also depend on the day. Um, Elden Ring, I'm not saying I'm enjoying it the least. Um, I enjoy, honestly, I, in the moment, I probably, it's very, it's very mixed. I feel like uh, some days I feel like I enjoy Elden Ring the most and some days I enjoy Mass Effect the most. If I had to say overall, I probably enjoy M The Witcher the least, but that's only when I'm not playing it. Sometimes when I'm not playing The Witcher 3, I kind of don't feel like playing it. But every time I do boot it up, I'm I'm in the zone, as you can tell by me playing the game. I also want to talk about, again, some people seem to not like my play style for The Witcher. Um, and I can kind of understand it. I actually noticed it after um, the last video. James, thanks for subscribing. Um, I play very vanilla in The Witcher 3. Uh, <laughs> I play very vanilla. I practically just go in with a sword, bro. If like the sword carries me completely in that game, I don't be using the, the crossbow that much. I don't be using the bombs and stuff like that. If it's not a freaking swallow <laughs> or, or, or a freaking piece of bread <laughs> or raw meat, then your boy is practically just using the sword. And, and I understand that to some degree. I can, I can, I understand that might not be as, entertaining to watch you know because part of you know if you have all these abilities and stuff like that and this guy's not using any of them you know it makes most encounters seem the same thing you know but and some people also didn't like that uh i also have the upscaling on because it makes every fight seem like an endurance test um i got a comment uh uh saying it was stressful I actually got multiple comments that said that I, I even got an email saying that. Um, and I have to say, it's not that I don't care. I just don't care if that makes sense. That doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense, but you know what I'm saying, right? It's, it's like, I don't, I don't, I care about you guys liking the videos, of course, but I need most people to understand that these videos aren't just for you guys in a way they're kind of like video diaries to um stand the test of time so even years from now i can go back and see the chronicle of my entire the witcher 3 experience you know so these videos are just as much for you as they are for future me you know so that's so that that's what I kind of want it to be known. And while I do agree, it probably would be more interesting for me to throw a bomb every now and then or, you know, to break out the crossbow just to you know, switch things up. But I'm going to be honest, in the heat of the moment, I don't really think about that. And it's not because I, I play I've been playing Elden Ring, because if you realize I was doing that long before I started doing Elden Ring, Elden Ring has only had four sessions, you know, and we're like, what, 11 episodes 12 episodes of the witcher three in now so it's not really because of that i i just like a sword <laughs> actually swords are canonic Geralt barely used signs in books only sword and some potion that's kind of been me and as much as it might seem strange the game hasn't really required that of me I'm playing on the hardest difficulty with enemy scaling on, and I still haven't really been pressed to do that. I mean, if you've been watching the videos, especially as of late, I haven't been struggling like that. I may die once a video, maybe twice it, to really push it, but I don't really die in this game like that. You know, especially er like earlier on, obviously I was learning the game, trying to figure out what things do and stuff like that, but I haven't really needed to use that stuff and when i don't feel pushed to do things it's kind of like the problem i had with final fantasy 16 despite adoring that game 
Final Fantasy 16, despite how in-depth that combat is, the game never really needed me to do that. And The Witcher 3 is kind of the same. And I feel like it's not just these two games. It's a problem I sort of have with action games in general. There's only there very few action games I felt where I needed to use everything. I feel like the modern Final Fantasy 7 remake games have been one of those games that have needed it. And Kingdom Hearts in more of their optional content with like the data battles and stuff like that, the limit cut, etc. DLC. Those kinds of things require everything from me. So I have to use basically all kinds of magic and all the all everything I got to do, you know, form changes. I have to do all of that stuff in order to win, because if I don't, I'm just going to keep losing, you know, and I don't think there's a modern action games that have really been requiring everything from me. And in a way, that's kind of nice. You know, I, I feel like The Witcher 3 has been a very cozy adventure so far. You know, and I, it, but it still at the same time lets me build up that every time I see a, an enemy that's a higher level than me, I'm like, oh yeah, come on, let's go, let's do this. You know, that's why that's why I'm level. I was level eight, taking on level twenties and stuff. You know, I was like, all right, let's go, let's do this. <laughs> so I don't know. Also, my friend Blaze has been uh, playing the game for the first time, dude. You have no idea how excited that makes me. I love Blaze so much. I've been friends with Blaze for so freaking long, dude. Y'all really got to check out their playthrough. I'll leave a link to the first episode uh, here. If you'd like to check out Blaze's, at least uh, I know you want to watch the stream, you know? <laughs> but add it to your watch later. Blaze is a very different action game player than I am. So um, I'm, you're, I'm sure you'll get a very different playthrough than I, you'll get from me. So. I guess I also feel like in a way, maybe it's the internal thing with me that doesn't want the game to get too easy. Using all this different stuff will probably make me beat battles faster, which isn't exactly what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the entertainment, the challenge and stuff like that. So I don't usually go towards stuff that makes the game easier. And it's not just this game. Again, there are, there are plenty of other games where I didn't use attraction flows in Kingdom Hearts 3, you know, like, yeah, it might take me two minutes to beat these enemies with just my sword, but I can if I use an attraction flow, I can beat them in 20 seconds, you know, so it's just like, I don't know. It's OK, you didn't miss anything. Um, what's a better system core, i7 or I, uh, AMD Ryzen? Uh, it would depend on the kind of i7 but I am more partial to Intel, so I would say Intel. AMD is more built for gaming, I'd say, but you'd have better compatibility with more stuff if you did Intel. They're both very good, though. How's your Gwent game, Ace? <laughs> Gwent? <laughs> I hardly know her. What's up, Aurelio? Just do a swords build. Don't build a sign or alchemy. I kind of haven't. I'll probably play Elder Scrolls Online at some point. Honestly, we've been we've been kind of talking for a while here. It's been 24 minutes. Maybe I should get into the game because I know some of you guys have limited time. But I do want people to understand, too, I'm not looking for the game to make the game easier, not in every department. I, I, if anything, I look for if you probably notice, you can probably notice something about me. I'm more for quality of life improvements than m more easier times. Something like uh, what is called sun and stars. The thing that lets you uh, regain your HP when outside of battle during the day. Um, that kind of thing is just a quality of life improvement to me. That, that's what that is to me. But when you do stuff, upgrades that make, say, uh, stuff that just trivializes types of encounters, like say the turning off uh, upscaling. I don't really care about that. Yeah, I could probably one shot some of these dudes now because I'm getting higher level. I don't really care. I, I get something out of, I like getting something out of each encounter. 
You know, I, I like feeling like, dang, I really had to do my thing in that battle. And I know for some people it's like, dang, every battle you're trying to go all out. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'd like to have a real challenge for once in my life. Show me your moves. Yeah, um, I, I've said it before. Um, I said it in the Elden Ring streams. So this is going to be the last thing I say um, before we really get started here. Um, I, I'm kind of I want to apologize once again to some of my mods. Um, I, I'd never really made the rules clear for streams, and it's definitely backfired because it's really stressed some of my mods out and it's made their job harder. So I do apologize. Um, so I'm going to make the rules of streaming kind of clear here and now. And this doesn't just go for streams, this goes for um, less towards videos, honestly. Um, you guys can say whatever you want in, in comments as long as you know you guys are giving me a break. Um, I want everybody to understand um, the main rule, I, I only really have two rules when it comes to streaming. And honestly, they kind of apply to videos too, but yeah. Um, it's one, use common sense. You know, it, treat others how you want to be treated. Treat me how you'd want to be treated, etc. Unless you want to be treated bad, then don't treat me like that. <laughs> um, treat others how you want to be treated. And honestly, if it's advice I didn't ask for, then it's just backseating. I'm gonna be honest. And I kind of get annoyed by backseating because backseating, when you backseat a game you really like, you're probably just spoiling me in some capacity. You know, it's one thing if you guys are telling me about the books or something like that, but if it's lore I, or something I can learn in the actual game, then, you know, or if it's something that I it's already passed and I just missed, then yeah, you can tell me that kind of thing. But if it's something that I still have the potential to learn in this game by playing it, then I don't want to know. If it, it, you guys will know when I ask for something, I'll say, okay, guys, tell me, can, how do I do this? Yeah, it's very obvious to tell what I'm talking to you guys, or I'll address chat, like, okay, how do I do this? Or can you guys tell me this? Or what do I need to do? And that that'll be very obvious. If I'm not if I'm not doing that, if I just say to myself, dude, what the freak is that thing? Or how do I do this? I'm I'm obviously it's a rhetorical question. I'm playing the game, so I'm trying to find out. You know, so but if I start getting stuck or something like that, then I'll just be like, OK, guys, tell me <laughs> uh, during recording. Sometimes I'll just say, well, I guess I'll find out at some point. But you, if you guys watch the videos, you guys will know that there are there are times when I'm like, I'm sure some of you guys will tell me in the comments when I say that that's obviously in giving you guys the OK, he, he wants to know now. So again, it might not be 100 percent obvious, but that's me saying this now. So it's no disrespect to anybody who's what you guys have set up to this point, letting it know for the future, you know, please try to not backseat as much. I'd love to have a similar playthrough as you guys did when you guys first played this game. And I feel like despite how long it's been since the game been out, I still deserve to have that kind of playthrough. So again, if it's not advice I asked for, then don't tell me, you know, that's just how that's just how it should be back uh, so for those that might not understand you know what backseating means because i know we have a lot of non-americans in here so i apologize for the slang or lingo uh, it means when someone gives unsolicited advice about something and in this context it means when somebody is giving me tips that i don't ask for or spoiling something that i didn't ask to be spoiled about that's what backseating really is when I'm playing a game, especially when I'm streaming, I'm here to have fun and I'm here to be in the driver's seat. If anything, I'd appreciate most of my chat just being along for the ride. You know, the reaction, you know, that, that's all I, I can really ask. So I just ask for that bit of respect and I think we'll have a really good time. And this just doesn't just go for this. It goes for everything I do on my content, because honestly, who, why would you want to spoil something for someone whose main content is reaction? You guys are here to see a reaction. So why would you spoil me to take that away? You know, that doesn't make any sense to me. But yeah. Yeah, I, I've seen some of you guys uh, talk about it in the discord, but sometimes the backseating, especially on the Witcher 3 series, it's it's really bad. It, it's been really bad. Elden Ring also was pretty bad, too. Elden, that last session of Elden Ring got a lot better after I addressed it. So 
Also, some people were talking about that I'm I'm being fake because I basically did what I just did now, just now on the Elden Ring last stream. And then when I went into content mode to start recording and playing the game, there's like, you know, we can see you being fake for 12 minutes chewing out chat. How am I being fake when I'm asking to not be spoiled? We're here for my reaction. <laughs> I, that's what I assumed. I mean, unless you guys just want to see how cute I am. You know, I mean, <laughs> if you're here for that, then that's fine, too. But I'm just saying, um, I think most people are here to see a reaction of some kind. And I think someone going out of their way to spoil things takes that away from a lot of people. And honestly, I've kind of gotten used to not focusing on chat as much during these streams because of how much spoilers there have been. There have been times where some really epic moments happen and I look through the VOD and I see somebody spoiled something major and I'm glad I didn't see it because uh, even if say a mod deletes a chat, it can still pop up on like my screen here. Like how you guys are seeing yourselves over there, it'll still pop up there. So when I'm looking at the VOD, I'll see, oh, I'm glad I didn't see that when I was playing the game, you know? So it's just like, if you got haters, you're living right. Maybe, man. I miss who just subscribed. I apologize. But all right, I think I will stop, uh, stop uh, holding you guys up. Yeah, if you guys have any, uh, if there's any non-native uh, English speakers and stuff, sure there are mods around that can help out and I can help out as well. Just sometimes when I'm playing the game, I might not always see it. So I apologize for that. Um, I'll hop on the game now so I can stop uh, holding you guys up. I appreciate all the VOD watchers as well that kind of took the time to listen to what I had to say because I felt like it was important. But I'll probably only give this spiel one more time. Maybe later, if I see it happening still, I'll probably bring it up again. But um, I might, I don't, I haven't really needed to say it on the Mass Effect videos. I think Mass Effect fans, because it's such a shorter game and it's way more narrative driven than like say The Witcher and Elden Ring are, people have been a lot less spoilery in that series. So I, I do appreciate that. Sometimes when a game is shorter and stuff like that, why spoil it? The game is already short, short you know? But all right, um, get this started. I haven't played any Fallout games. What's your favorite mission so far? It's hard to tell pinpoint a specific mission, but I'd still have to say I, I enjoyed um, the Bloody Baron quest line the most so far. I really do love Kira's quest line, too, though. I like that one. The, I guess that for my favorite individual mission, it was when Kira needed to go us to go to the lighthouse or whatever um, to go out to the island and uh, do that stuff. That was really cool, man. I love that. That was very good. That was probably the strongest episode in the game for me so far. I appreciate that. I do hope the rest of it's spoiler free as well. Yeah, I mean, I, I get it. I, I, I get I do. You guys might not think I understand, but I, I actually I do really understand. You know, again, I, I watch reactions and let's plays and stuff, too. So I, I do understand. Under there and not hide and seek. I was like, ha <laughs> ha. Don't worry, guys, I have I have an explanation. I have been drinking plenty of water today, but I really want to drink this pineapple Minute Maid because it's been in my refrigerator for like a week and I want it. It looks like I'm drinking pee, but it's not. I promise. Ooh. <sighs> Don't worry, guys, it's the zero sugar version. There you go. Don't worry. Pineapple Minute Maid, yup. Joint delectable. All right, let's see here. Let's go ahead and add my stream crop and then let's get the old stream deck and switch to whoppa. And then we go and do this, switch from Elden Ring to The Witcher 3 and then switch the audio the Witcher 3 as well. 
guess we gotta put on ye old headset. I'm about time to buy a new one. Can you not believe how much how many times this thing just drops onto the floor? Um Okay. Dude, why is this one piece of hair always doing this, bro? He is the biggest villain of this channel, by the way. He's definitely the biggest villain on this channel. Okay. I don't like that being over here. Let's put this over here. How far are you into the game? Um, we, I think the last thing we did was finish the Bloody Baron quest line and we did Akira's secondary quest. Okay. Um, Okay, where am I? Ah, ah, we did, oh, yeah, we, we helped the Peller out. Yes, we helped the Peller out. Get chat back on screen, maybe? Ah, yes, I forgot. Chat is not on screen. Thank you for that. Oh, there you are. There you are. Um, yeah, hit him with one of these, hit him with one of these. Okay. So what does this look like when I go like, ah, it's gone here. Zoom. Hmm. There. there we go. It's about time for a YouTuber intro, guys. Y'all already know what it is. Y'all already know what the freaking time it is. That's some Josh Strife Hayes race cam size. Dude, I freaking love him, bro. I love his videos so much. All right. Don't worry. We're about to do YouTuber intro. I didn't know, uh, know that unless I'm... Let me know if I'm mispronouncing your name. That's really cool to know, though. Okay. All right. Three, two. Wait, let me get into some better light. All right. Three, two, one. Action. You already know what time it is. It's time for more of The Witcher 3. And it's been a little bit since I played the game. Um, it wasn't on purpose. I, I just, it just kind of happened that way. I got a new face cam. Let me know if you guys, you know, like it in the comment section down below. I'm actually doing this one live. I didn't actually have too much time to record today. So it's a little bit later in the day. So I plan on doing a kind of session and stuff. So I think it's gonna be fun. So if you guys are ready for more of The Witcher 3, I think if we're finally about to head to Novigrad, you already know what to do. Hit the like button for you, boy, and leave a comment for the algorithm. You have no idea how much that really helps the channel, especially since we're trying to make our goal of 50,000 subscribers. So if you enjoyed the video, subscribe so you'll be notified for when more comes out. But without further ado, this is The Witcher 3. Good intro, good intro, less than a minute. Good intro, good intro. Ah. <sighs> I think we did pretty good. Not gonna lie, Velen gives me the willies. I'm a city boy. I'm definitely a city boy too. Definitely a city boy too. All right, we're going back in. Three, two, and actually, wait, where should we spawn? We should teleport to. I need it to feel like we actually did a jump cut. Oh yeah, it is uh, quite far, quite far. I guess we need to teleport to Hangman's tree and we can kind of make our way up from there. Wouldn't really make much sense to go to Oxen Fur and then go around. And do we, I don't think we necessarily have to do that stuff first. There's something we could do in Oriton. Um, 
Um, is that really it? I mean, there's a lot of like other things we haven't gone by over here. I actually did come by here, I think, or at least nearby here, because I, I saw what looked like this and stuff. So I don't I don't know. Hmm. Then we could talk about what we could do here. There's also a little quest here. Mole uh, Breedale, we can go by there. Um, South of the Manor, there's something here as well. Um, what other quests do we actually have? I think I might have had something I wanted to do. We should do the Novigrad quest because we're getting kind of strong here. I don't want to be too over leveled. We do have some treasure hunts and stuff we can do. Hmm. I feel like I, I kind of did everything I could by Hangman's Tree. Um... Hmm. Oh, you guys also want me to check out the pit again as well. Um, I probably won't do that just yet because I still feel like it's been not that long since we've been there. Um, we took out some monster nests and stuff like that too. Um, last episode. Um, hmm. I guess we'll still go by, um, maybe we'll go to Hangman's Tree and then try to discover whatever this is. I don't know if we can actually make it over there, but... I don't I don't like feeling aimless at the beginning of videos. I feel like when you're just doing random stuff at the beginning of an episode, it's slightly less engaging. I don't know. I feel like if you have a clear goal idea of what you want to do at the beginning of the video, it's more interesting. At least that's something like I, I've noticed with you guys. I feel like some people skip a skip a little bit of the beginning of the video when we're, we're kind of just doing whatever, you know, at the beginning exploring is a good part of these videos and stuff but i also feel like they have their place when it comes to structure structure is important when you think about this kind of thing i don't i don't i don't mind recommendations and stuff but uh, uh you guys can recommend stuff as long as you guys understand i still have the last say and I, and as long, also as long as you guys understand that I'm okay with missing some stuff. As I know other people will be like, why would you want to miss stuff in a game you're playing? You know, because at least I, I, maybe some people, even some of my friends don't always understand why I feel that way. But it's because, man, I have, I, I know myself. When I beat a game with especially as long as my backlog is, you guys might not have a backlog like mine, but I own like 600 games on Steam, bro. So like, and I have a backlog, man. So I just, when I beat a game, I don't always have time to go and immediately boot up another playthrough or play a game for 300 hours. I don't always have the time for that. I, I do like doing my side quests as I go along and doing the main story and then, you know, taking my leave, you know? And again, I, I also think that's fine. You know, I feel like developers kind of make these games thinking that way. I don't think Albert's uh, back backseating here. So uh, I I think Albert just wants me to do something in particular. And as long as they understand, I don't have to. That's fine. But I get I get it though. So I, I do appreciate you guys looking out for me though. I do appreciate that. It means more than you know. Um, I think I'm going to head to Black uh, Bow, and then I'm probably just going to try to make my way to uh, Novigrad. It's not like I can't come back here. There's a lot of other stuff I can do. I can go to Orton. I can get this. I can go check out some of the other stuff. Look at all these question marks and stuff I can do. Yeah, there, there's plenty I can do here, but I, I'll I'll never make it to Novigrad if I'm trying to do everything as I go along. You know, that's just never going to happen. So I think I'm going to uh, go to Hangman's Tree and make my way up. If I see some stuff while I'm there, then yeah, we'll go for it. So let's head to Black Bow. I just need to turn around. Uh, Roach. There you are, girl. No, 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 don't try it. Don't, don't even try it. I know you, don't try it. Come on, Roach. Let's go, mush. Uh. I wish if we're playing with the PlayStation controller, you could just like uh, press the touchpad and get the map. 
That'd be nice. Why is everybody outside? Go, go. Oh, we can actually do... Uh... Might as well go and get our stuff up, up to snuff. It's been a while since we streamed uh, The Witcher 3. I won't go into that too much because I know I can say that again. Uh, oh, I forgot. Someone did tell me you can actually go up on roofs and stuff like that. And there actually is treasure and stuff like that you can get from doing that. So I'll, I'll try to remember to do that. I only kind of did it then Looks on like accident. Rain. You think, Geralt? I'm playing so many different games with different control styles. So it's just feels awkward right now. Oh, yeah, I went up here. I think that was off stream. I did that. Yeah, this was definitely off stream on accident. I didn't mean to get into that much of an adventure off off screen, not on a recording, but it kind of happened that way. I did not mean to do that. And I mean, do that just then. No, put it back, put it back. Here, take this away. Wasn't there a Oh, I guess I it went away. Okay. Well, I guess I gotta wait an entire day to get this rain out of here. After playing The Witcher 3 for years, I don't play things feel so strange with the keyboard and mouse. Yeah, I know, uh, like that's what the, the question marks are, but I kind of just not really expecting to do a lot of stuff. That, that place isn't on fire, right? Nah, it, it wouldn't. It wouldn't be on fire. That's just their smokestacks and stuff like that. All right, we're about to read, uh, start the recording. All right, now we feel like we actually jump cut. Um, Roach, give me a girl. Whew. Hey ya. Okay, so we need to go. Not that way. We need to go this way. I hope their village isn't burning. All right. So we're going to go ahead and head to Novigrad now just to kind of see what it's like. man. We actually have quite the journey ahead of us, and I'm kind of excited. It, you know, in these open world games, you know, we're always fast traveling everywhere, but it is nice to not <laughs> do that from time to time. It is nice to not do that from time to time. Come Roach, on, Roach, you're gonna jump off that cliff because I said so. There you go. Whew, okay. Dang, man. I really love doing this Witcher series. Oh, there's something there. No, 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 keep going. This game is beautiful, by the way. Why are you stopping? Oh, I remember where this is. Oh, Roach, guys, I, guys, I'm not bad. I promise, I'm not bad. I'm not bad, I'm not bad. I'm not bad. I'm just, I'm just adjust, adjusting. My controller's broken. Um, you know what? I think we need to take some time apart. There's actually some enemies down here. Ooh, foglets. That's kind of annoying. All right, how do I attack again in this game? Oh man, it's one of those days. All right, uh, put this freaking thing back, by the way. Okay. I won't know if I take this. I put that entire ladder in my pocket. Hello? Okay. Ow. Ow. Oh. He usually tries to attack from behind. He's not going to go. Ow, yes he did. Ow, there's multiple. Ow, ow. Okay. Ooh, nope. Oh. Oh. <laughs> when you stole up in the wrong neighborhood. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Y'all think I'm scared of you, bro? Hold on, hit one of these. Oh. Good. Oh. 
Warm up, warm up. Editor, take that one out. Editor, edit, editor, cut that one out. Dude, I'm all the way back here. <laughs> editor, cut that part out. <laughs> Roach, come here, go. Hey guys, it took me 15 minutes to die. Hey, remember I said we get one death per episode. I'm gonna just let Roach drive. We're probably about to end up in the completely wrong place. Hello, Fucking Bandit. Bastard. Goodbye, Bandits. Hey guys, it's not me. It's not me. It's not me. Hey, 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 it's not me. It's not me. Don't look, don't look at me. It's not me. That's not me. That's not me. Wait. I don't mind. Wait, kid. I don't know, old man. Watch it. Okay. Actually, let's find out where we're at. We're on Death March. How did we end up here faster this this time? What what the frick did we do? Somehow we ended up here faster than I thought we would. But okay. What you trying to do to me, bro? Or you? I am not the one, bro. You do not know me. You do not know what I will do. You know who I am? I'm Geralt of Rivia. I'm just the the black version. All right. Huh. Come, come through. Hello. Hello, everyone. You guys are not bandits, right? You bandits are usually, yeah, okay. Excuse me. Oh, okay. Any movement back there? What's all that movement back there? What's all that, what's all that movement back there? Roach. Look, no trees for you to get in, in the way of. Let's go. Whoa. Come on now. Oh yeah, I should probably. Wait, can I meditate on horseback? Uh, of course I can. Stop jumping. Get off. Get off. Is Geralt voiced by a black person? All right. Oh yeah, one thing I want to bring up, guys, there are so many of you that really want me to freaking change, um, that want me to change Geralt's hairstyle, bro. <laughs> like there are so many of you that are like that. <laughs> Like, y'all hate the hairstyle that much. Y'all know that y'all know that's basically just my hairstyle, right? If I pull my hair back, it's the exact same joint. You know, y'all know that, right? <laughs> but y'all been pretty disrespectful to the hairstyle. Come on, bro. Don't disrespect me like that. I was like, dang. And again, I, I'm telling you over the course, ever since I did that first video, when I got that haircut, I'm telling you, I kid you not, there's probably been a hundred comments that have said it, bro. Uh, and I'm just like, there's no freaking way. Like y'all, y'all read. Oh, you're fucked. Get him. I was just surprised y'all felt that strongly about it. Oh, huh, what's this? 
it is one I would never choose personally, but you do you. Like, bro, that's not that's not fire to you guys. Come on, bro. Like, go bald out of spite. No, I'm gonna keep the haircut out of spite. And it's not even really out of spite. I picked the haircut because I thought it was cool. And I'm just like, dang, are y'all serious? Some of y'all seemed super upset by it. I was like, I can't believe this is something that people are that upset about. I, I thought I thought y'all were joking. Wait, no, some of you guys are that upset about it. Ooh, ooh. Uh, wolf hide, that's worth something. Prince Adrian's journal. Oh, what's with the camera? Prince Adrian's journal. Kyan performed wonderfully. It's a shame, of course, that Professor Gloger disappeared somewhere in the ruins of Estair, Estair, along with the rest of the elven diagrams. But those sketches for a steel sword alone are worth as much as a village in the southern Redania. Redania. We split the takings equally as per our agreement. I kept the diagram for the silver sword while Kyan took the crossbow diagram. I must admit, I didn't exactly need every member of the expedition's head preserved in vinegar, but they do constitute impressive proof of Kyan's conscientiousness and professionalism. The Witcher swore none of the archeologists would uh, leave S. Tayer alive, and none did. All the more shame then that Kyan didn't accept my offer. As my personal bodyguard, um, he would never have wanted for a thing. Steady pay, caviar and strawberries for breakfast, lobster for lunch, daily bath, a court surgeon and courtesans for uh, both sexes for all his needs. Um, and if he still lacked for anything, he had but knock on my chamber door. He must have much. He must very much love all the drudging around the world because I do not believe Jacob of Dim Dimbic could have dangled a better offer uh, than I did. Reality, really now, Jacob of Dimbic, a second rate captain transporting uh, women to dockside novigrad pimps for a fistful of crowns with any luck sooner or later a storm will sink that leaky tub of his and kyan will return to me tail between his legs legible scribblings scrubbed waxing blade oil devil's puffball contortions uh ink visibly fresher than previous entries many years must have passed i've heard the flying deer the vessel on which kyan was sailing wrecked off the coast of grassy uh Nall. was it my curse not bad for a beginner perhaps i should think about enrolling at bon Ard. Hmm. Oh, scavenger hunt cat school gear. Cool. Feline steel sword. Feline steel sword. Dude, the camera here is crazy. I think it's because my FOV is slightly higher um, in a small enclosed space. That can happen sometimes. You know, like still talking about the, <laughs> the facial hair and the and the haircut. Enhanced the Dem Mirtium bomb. Okay, that's cool. We got new recipes. New recipe. Ah, Aaron here is making me sick. Uh, can I reach that butter? Give me. Come on. Got to hit it from the right angle. Can I like jump? No. Can I? Oh, I saw it for a split second. Loot. Turn around. There, there you go. There we go. It still goes up. It's a trap. Is that a trap door? Hmm. Hello? What's up here? Wait, this looks like a nest, kind of. Not too much. Manuscript blizzard. Ooh, tear to uh, toe chair blade. Strange, as if a whirlwind came through. Did a what griffin the tower? Contract the white lady. 
Wait, 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 wait. This is a contract? 16. Ah, screw it. Well, let's do it anyway. Let's do it anyway, man. We're here for a long time anyway. Why not? Strange. Oh, as if a whirlwind it. came through. I'm sure those of y'all that have seen the Skyrim videos, you guys know how much uh, of a loot goblin I can be. Like, oh, that's mine. Oh, that's mine. That's mine. That's mine, too. Um, I see, but it's definitely below. Fall off, Geralt. Geralt, you fell off, bro. I'm sorry. Sorry to let you guys know, but Geralt fell off. My boy fell off. After the twit longer, he was never the same. Oh, oh, oh! Hey, did I miss those? No, jump. Oh, <laughs> who needs the ladder? Oh, that's why I left it. Huh. I know we already went down. Am I? What am I standing on? Just doing another run through. Oh, wait. Can you actually get below that? Oh, what is that? Oh, it's water or something. Hmm. This is underground, though, so I'm kind of surprised it, it there would be a door there in the first place. They're trying to cancel Geralt, bro. I just got an ad. I watched it all for you, homie. It was six seconds. I appreciate you. I appreciate all my ad watchers. Y'all make sure your boy don't end up homeless. Blood trail leads to the cellar. Interesting deduction. Oh, I thought that was a woman with her guts out, but it looks like it's a dog. There are a lot of dudes down there. Well, I'm not going down there. Let me hit F5. What a time to be alive. Dwarven spirit. Hey, can you guys, can you keep it down down there? I don't care what you guys do. Just don't make me a part of it, bro. I'm not trying to hear it. Hello. Hello. Stairs, but it wasn't their kill. Skins unnaturally pale, cracked. Hmm. Ghouls dragged the body downstairs, but it wasn't their kill. Skins unnaturally pale, cracked. Hmm. hmm. Okay. Doesn't seem like there's anything left down here. That was it? I mean, I get he was down here, but... Hmm. He seems to be along this level. Aware, aware. No skirt? you dried blood really old i don't know it's pretty blue man hand is fresh unnatural medallion vibrates near it quest updated hmm pale skin but no blood loss this is no vampire. Yeah, they took the opposite of what a vampire wants. Bodies dried to a crisp. Signs of burns. Noon Wraith did this. All signs point to a Noon Wraith. She's avoiding me. But I find something that belonged to her. She'll have to show then. Maybe there's a reward for her. Oh. 
For real? Ugh. Dude, I've said it before. All, all the NPCs in this game are always coughing and hacking and stuff. Bro, it's disgusting. <laughs> like, are y'all okay, bro? Where are y'all coming back from? Who is this shady individuals? Hey, I guess this is a, a town I haven't been to before. Dang, all right, let's go. We're not in Kansas anymore. That's good. Yum, 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 yum. All right. Revel of the woods. Dear Witcher, sir, if any be presence hereabouts, that is. I have a hunch, eh? What I'm saying, I'm dead certain that the woods I was lucky enough to gain possession of, or at least I feel lucky about that till recently, that these woods are home to a cruel evil, a devil of some kind. I hired a gang of dwarven loggers not long back to harvest lumber, strapping lads, every last one having cut down a mighty tree in his life. So you can imagine my surprise when said loggers disappeared, all save one, and he claimed to have seen a monster. I've marked out a bounty for freeing my stretch of woods from all foul creatures, and dearly hope that soon I'll have the pleasure of giving it to someone. Sincerely, Breen Hosht. Good people. Take pity on the poor Lotus peasants. The fields outside of town are haunted by a wraith, somewhat like a maiden appearance, though her visage is ghastly and sullied. You cannot walk within ten spans of the evil hope of the evil and hope to escape alive. It's thus keeping us from harvesting our crops, meaning famine and misery await us if nothing changes. So we plan to hand all our remaining gold to whoever drives this white lady off or kills her. Helma Ign Ignatius, widow. And it was a woman talking the whole time. Wonderful. Since I've got a mini inquiry into the matter already, I'll let it be known right here. I'm not interested in remarrying. <laughs> I bet. Gwen lovers, Count Tybalt invites you to come to the Passiflora, where he shall proudly host a high stakes Gwent tournament. On offer will not only be riveting play against superb opponents, but also fabulous prizes for the victors. Only ladies and gentlemen with fortunes vast enough to cover the entry fee are invited to join. We also require all entrants to be in possession of an above average deck, one fitted with a good measure of neutral cards. Decks shall be checked before entry is permitted. Hope to see you all at the Passiflora. Dang. I wasn't trying to do a British accent. I, I, I do realize it kind of dipped into that a little bit, but if I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't trying to go full British. If I was trying to go full British, I would have full sent it. I would have full sent it. Maybe, maybe next like readable passage, I'll do in a British voice. I saw it. Greetings, Witcher. Hey, how do you know I'm a Witcher? Hear about the white lady. <laughs> Lucky guys. As I hoped. White lady. What about the <laughs> what about black so man? Long, near bleached it blank. Don't Seems go to the passive Laura on live. That means God's poor Lucy. Lucy. She was gonna marry, right? Yeah. Her parents swore her to a smith from the city. Well to do, sure, but older and more brittle than elven ruins. Lucy ran from the altar out into the fields. Where she slashed her veins. Used the silver dagger she'd gotten for the betrothal. Wait. She killed herself? What's a soldier doing right next to me, bro? Like, get the reek away from me. Lucy's parents couldn't bear to sell it. What's he doing right there? They left it in my care. I want to send her away, but I've got to bring her close, lure her first. I need an object that belonged to her. Dagger would be perfect. Take it, but kill Lucy. Promise me. She shouldn't suffer no more. I got you. I got you. All right, have a good one. Want to see the blade? No, lady, I don't want to see the blade, bro. Modern London <laughs> accent. I think people would hate that. Um. 
kind of good though right now. Um, let me hit F5. What a time to be alive. <laughs> There's a decent space. Maybe I should give some subs this stream. Let's dance. Yeah, this, I know this one was a bit off the cuff. We still in broad daylight for this, by the way. Did she actually steal back that much of her HP originally? Nothing to me. There we go. Nope. Ow. Okay, that might have hurt a little bit. Just a little. Don't get too cocky. I'm talking to you, not me. I can get cocky. I do this for a living. My eyes! Come on, get over here. Oh, ow. Ah, come here. No, don't do the thing. Don't do the thing. Come here. <sighs> oh yeah, I got some new weapons as well. We kind of do this thing. That wasn't anything serious. Let's check out the new weapons, by the way. Both are uh, insignificant. They're actually low uh, doing. You guys actually, t whoa, excuse me. You guys told me something I didn't realize, actually. I didn't realize, oh, this is actually only one down. It's actually, it's at 100. Um, you guys told me that I can't always go by uh, the stats thing here. When you see the comparison numbers like minus eight and stuff like that, uh, which you guys kind of can't see because of the freaking screen. But um, when you see the comparisons and stuff here, you can't always go by the red number because if the durability is lower than 100, then it's not the, the proper like comparison. So if you want to like really tell if the sword is better or not, it should be repaired. So that that's something I definitely didn't know. And that's great advice, actually, because the, the game doesn't really explain that. So 
It's just kind of one of those things you'd notice while playing. I'm sure I probably would have noticed eventually, but I'm, I'm really glad to have gotten that. That was a great tip. And I will take care of that in a moment. Greetings, Witcher. Got rid of the white lady. Problem solved. You can go back to your fields. Thank you. Your coin. And may fortune smile upon you. Thanks, lady. I said it already. I haven't the time. Bro, I'm not coming after you. Ah, Shut, up. Shut, up. Oh. Shut up. Shut up. Oh. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Okay. This town got a blacksmith or something. Oh, this is just a small part of a much bigger place. I see. Interesting. Well, I guess it's time to look around. Huh. I like how this place looks. It feels very oh, bright I here. She's the Another drifter in from Tamaria. Shut up. A mind's like war. Never know when you're hmm. Anyone can swing a sword, but can they believe? Anyone can swing a sword. <laughs> okay. I want you I want you to go and kill that noon wraith just then. Kiss my ass. Why is everybody so mean? Don't those swords is that what it's like in Poland? When you run. Is is that what it's like in Poland, bro? I don't want to go to Poland and everybody hate me. Sure, it's a lovely place. But I'm a, I'm a sensitive guy, you know. I'm sensitive. Smuggler's cash. Oh, well, excuse me. Dang, I can't dive in this water. Ah. Wait, oh. Take some of that. Ooh. Was that another one right there? I don't think so. Fishing rod. Bro, keep your fishing rod, bro. I'm gonna enjoy it, I, I, I bet. Oh, excuse me. I wonder who I'm gonna like, because you guys talk about Triss and Yennefer a lot. So I'm wondering who I'm gonna end up like choosing. Wait, so what the rig am I? What's my quest? Oh, these are all the boats to get to Skellige, but that's not where I'm trying to go right now. This is the mission here. Hello, everyone. The dungeon, that's where Hello. Trouble? And this city is very different. Wow. And we fix it for huh. No. There's actually a, a quest here? I kind of want to just use your facilities. I kind of don't want to take care of your problems, but. What do you have? What's up, offer? Link? Redanian dumplings, speciality of the house, heartily recommended. Blimey, a vat gun in my establishment? It can't be. How do you know I'm a Witcher? Are you joking? Silver blades. Who else uses them? Crafted in Mahakam, am I right? Must be about forty inches long. Forty and a half. Still impressed. You're something of an expert, evidently. I'm Ibir Hattori, former master swordsmith, currently a master of dumplings. Why? Geralt of Rivia. A pleasure, Geralt. How might I help you? Care to try a dumpling? Sure, I'll try a dumpling. Mmm. Tasty. Mm, glad to hear it. Anything else I can do for you? <laughs> God, he just he just got one. Sure, I'll try a dumpling. Sure, I'll try a dumpling. Sure, I'll try a dumpling. <laughs> I have no more dumplings. <laughs> what do you want from me? Looking for a good sword. Alright, let's have a good one. No one. 
<laughs> Three swords on your back. A bit much, don't you think? Good one. But all jests aside, you make swords anymore? Really? It's dumplings now. I must make a living. But I miss the hammer, anvil, and bellows. Oh, the heat of the forge. Were it not for that swiving Van Horn. Don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I shan't greet a witcher with dumplings. Come, let me show you something. Quite a collection. Premium quality, too. Thank you. I've kept these as mementos. Dang. Damn shame you don't make them anymore. I'd gladly replace what I have with this kind of steel. Someone with your skills? Why the hell are you needing dough? This might surprise you. The pay is better. But above all, it's much safer. Food vendors rarely disappear or end up as cripples. I see. Someone controlling Novigrad smithing market? Not officially, though... All supplies go through Ernst Van Horn. And they say he plays cards with Cleaver. Frequently. Ernst Van Horn? Ernst Van Horn. Who's that? Modest beginnings. A small dockside workshop. However, he proved extremely ambitious. He knew he could not compete with other sword makers on skill alone, so he resorted to other methods. Other methods? A bit of slander here. Buying business debt cheaply and taking over there. And whenever the competition was a plowing non-human, he'd accuse them of being Havocars. Is that how he did you in? I did not give up without a fight. I went to Town Hall, negotiated. Alas, it was all in vain. He'd already enlisted Cleaver's protection. And in Novigrad, few dare get in Cleaver's way. Couldn't make a deal? Tried negotiating? Making a deal? With Van Horn? Do you jest? He's a proper heartless bastard. Either play by his rules and pay him, or go out of business. Hmm, I see. But I shan't complain. Dumplings have proven an excellent source of income. It's just... well... You miss the heat of the forge. Tried getting supplies from someone else? Those rogues of the underworld control all the sources. How am I to talk to them? Unless... Would you be willing to help me? You can spare the coin. Want me to help you get your supplies? How? Just come with me to a meeting. As my bodyguard, it'll bolster my confidence. Truth be told, not so long ago, I tried negotiating some iron deliveries with one of the King of Beggars men. Take it he's important in the underworld too. Yes. What's more, he's on piss poor terms with Cleaver, who backs Van Horn. It's just... He demanded an inordinately large share of the profits. I thought you might help me negotiate. I don't mean gratis. I'm certain we can agree on a fee. Could I... choose something from your collection? Oh, forget this rubbish. I shall forge you a sword fit for killing gods. I don't know. Criminal underworld. Not really sure I want to meddle with them. I badly need your help. Van Horn is a Van Horsen. <laughs> oh, she was be there. Lesson. I'd be eternally grateful. Plate armor, yours. Or perhaps you'd like a catapult or a, a trebuchet. All right, arrange a meeting. Fine, arrange the meeting. Splendid. Meet me after dark, near the crane at the docks. Oh. <laughs> I see what you're saying in chat. <laughs> Maybe I'll do it outside of a video. That felt like main story, man. Like Geralt kind of strolling up in town, learning a bit Officer, more about the things going on here. From witch hunting. Greetings, Your Honor. Good to see you again. Bring us the usual. Close. Hmm. If this happened, you learn yourself. Let's take a look now. We're kind of in the thick of it now. This is a big place. Very big place. Right. Hmm. I say we should take a look at the cash area. I wanted to actually have like a blacksmith I can I can go to and you know be fine. 
I might have to go backwards if it seems like blacksmiths are having a hard time here. Huh. There's a cache thing inside here. Hello? Alright guys, don't steal my stuff, alright? Dude, I have so much crap in 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 here. Whoa, why is it saying this is better than what I have right now? Hold up. Wait, I can't can I can can I compare? Okay, yeah, I can now. Wait, what? This is that much better than what I have right now? Uh what? Since when? I wouldn't have I must have just been putting stuff in there. Also, what? What? Hold up. What's all this good stuff I have put away? Maybe I put this stuff away because I couldn't I couldn't use it yet. You know what? That might have been what it was because I, I couldn't use it. Yeah, required level 11. But yeah, I just became able to use some of this stuff. This is also level 11. <laughs> well, let me uh, take that and take this. Um, let me put some of this other stuff back. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty good on money, so I'm not really worried about making a whole bunch of money from it right now. Hmm. I want to keep some of this other stuff because I, I do want to fix it up and actually check. Um, put all these stupid things in there. Put all of them away. Can't use this until I'm level 13, so I'll go ahead and put it away for now. Oh, man. Wait, so this is steel sword and silver sword. <laughs> Man, your boy is kind of eating good. Your boy is eating good. Dang. Let's put some of this stuff away. Also, the stuff that I... That has one that I can put in there. And these each have one. Hmm. Uh... I might be back. I'm going to be carrying some of this crap for a minute. Um, put that away. Um, this is one down, even though it's a hundred percent. This is probably, wait, this is a silver sword, steel sword, silver. This, oh, wait, this is both a steel sword. All right, put that away. Who cares? So this is silver sword, silver sword. Oh my goodness. I'm going to be honest. There's no reason to even fix this stuff because this stuff is just so much stronger. Like this is this one default does higher than the maximum this sword can do, even though it does have three slots. So I can actually have more advantage, you know, depending on what I put in. But again, there's still just a giant like difference between the two. Don't need to put any of this stuff away. I mean, this stuff isn't taking actually it actually does take up uh, space. Um, chance to dismember. I kind of want the humans and non-humans thing. Bonus gold. I, mean, I guess I'll keep a little bit humans and non-humans. It's all basically the same thing. Enhanced. I assume it's not showing stuff we we have equipped. Just because that'd be stupid. All right. Now let's take a look at our stuff. Yeah, your boy got it going on right now. Okay. Let's actually take a look at some of the the over rune stones I have. Sign, breeze, stagger, attack power, chance to poison, chance to stun, adrenaline point gain, chance to stun. Burning, armor piercing, that's nice. Burning, adrenaline point game, attack power, 3%. Mm, it's higher than the other attack power one. Okay, this is the master toolkit. That does 90%. Igni, intensity, Yurden, Axie, Quinn, Ard, Yurden. We're kind of lacking in department a little bit. I mean, I have a ton of these Yurden ones, by the way. 
Also, that was another way that I got a bunch of money too, is that like, because I don't use so many of these, I sold like a whole stack of them and it gave me a bunch of money. I can get like 4K just from that. Um, I guess I'll go with the Quinn. Um, because I, I mean, I kind of use that the most. Yurden is nice too, but I feel like I, I have more consistent use for the, for the other thing. You can only make that for now. Bombs, Dancing Star. You, some of you guys are saying I should just go ahead and make these anyway. So. There we go. Um, oils. Enhanced Elemental Oil. Wonderful. Vampire Necrophage. Oh, that's so good. And I probably... Uh, can I make each of these? Okay, okay. If I can't, I'll just do one. Versus Necrophage. I feel like we come against Necrophages the most. Okay. Elemental. Okay, we can make all three. Good. It looked like I could make all three, but I just want to make sure. Blizzard, when you're in danger, time slows down for a short period. Ooh. Full moon. Maximum vitality. Ooh. Yeah, boys. I'm cooking. Someone was someone cooked here. And it was King of Ace. Okay. I actually can make some decent boots and stuff too. So she upgraded to Grandmaster level to unlock bonuses. Mm. I haven't really done much about crafting um, things, mostly because there was in an earlier episode, some of you guys were saying don't really do this because you can kind of find stuff that's just better. Griffin Silver Sword. Mastercraft Silver Sword. Steel Sword. Hmm. Some of the best looking ones are ones that I need to be a bit stronger to even make. Hmm. The Assassin's Trousers looks nice too. You burn the kitchen? Let's go. I did take the Nine uh, Tails thing out of the, the stash, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, wait, West Tiger, Nine Tails. Okay, wait. Hold up. Which, which one's the Nine Tails? It should be identifiable. I don't think I have the Nine Tails uh, shirt. No, I don't. No, I don't have it. Do I have the pants? This is actually better pants. What about this one? No. Mid. Okay, let me take that too. Yeah, I don't I don't have I don't have the shirt for okay, this is these are white tiger. Yeah, but I don't have the the other thing. Right here, this one. Okay. Gauntlet of a Thousand Flowers. Isn't that what I'm wearing right now? Or did I still never put those back on? Did I not put my gloves back on? I think I put on different gloves than when I meant to. Okay, hold up. Let's, let's get upgraded a little bit. Let's put that. Oh my goodness, bro. That is not Geralt. go. What do the pants look like? Oh. Okay. That feels very different than what I had on. Samurai drip. Okay. All right, I think that's everything. Yeah. And these are just straight up better, so... Dang, we're really Samurai Geralt now. Let's go. Geralt straight out of Japan, dude. Or like what if Geralt was born in Japan instead of Poland? You know, like you need a new trim now. 
I'm gonna keep this same trim just because, bro. Y'all keep bringing up this trim, bro. Y'all keep bringing it up. I'm gonna tell you right now, Gerald has never been drippier, bro. Hairstyle and all, bro. Y'all don't see the vision, bro. I don't understand how y'all don't see the vision. That's so fire. Y'all never see. Y'all don't understand, bro. Y'all are not a. <laughs> Y'all are not a drip king like me. All right. Y'all don't understand. Until she found out. Geralt is black and Japanese now. I like the way you think. Burning which is a horrible stinky. I know. Being at a burning. My pappy took me. Wow. It's a waste of words. Times was different back then. I think I'm in love. Me too, bro. Me too. I assume, yeah, it leads up here. Oh, we should go ahead and put something uh, into these swords, by the way. Hmm. Attack power. We're going to go ahead and do the silver sword attack power. Hmm. 5% chance to stun. That'll be our steel weapon there. Boom. We're in. Oh, we're in. All right. We're kind of in there. I, could, I should honestly leave this old stuff away because it's just taking up space. You know, let me do that. on the horse beard but whatever bro where, the, where am i going in this place okay it is down here <laughs> out of the way all of you out of my way out of my way all right let's go ahead and put this over here bro Garrow's looking fire bro let's go ahead and drop it off drop it off Drop, 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 drop it off. Drop. Your boys, bro, I have so much carry weight. Eat, bro, back then, even now. Ooh, there's no one in here. Y'all don't care if I rob y'all. I took that ladle and that's my ladle now. I'm taking your crystallized essence from right in front of you. What are you going to do about it? I'd like to see what you're going to do about it. I'm disrespecting you as a man. What, what are you going to do about it? Disrespecting you. I'm on your bed. And not in that way. Disrespecting you. What are you going to do about it? I'm taking your empty bottle. I played Zelda. I know how important those are. I feel like I always bring up Zelda in all of these videos. Mm. Get out of my face. Ah. Let's play Stupid kids, get out of the way. How about you be the witch, bro? Ah, Armed ruffians in town. Scandalous. All right. Hmm. Eternal fire. Protect King Radovid. I was, I was kind of wondering if I could turn off the fire. Wonder if they would be mad. At I don't care if I do this right. I guess we're going to meet Triss first. That was our original um, intention. Actually, what is that other quest? The volunteer? No. Um. Oh, that's a level 24 quest. Oh, yeah, we're going to wait on that one, bro. Sorry. Sorry, your boy is 13 levels too, too low for that one. I mean, I could probably handle it, but I think I got the skills that pay the bills, but still. You gonna scare, go to the barber, bro. Where's the barber, bro? Look at this, bro. I'm, I'm gonna go to the barber. I'm gonna walk into the barber and not see him, bro, and tell him he should get out of town. He playing with me. That's what I'm about to do. Watch. 
help a poor fellow out. But you help yourself. Our Novigrad, shining a brilliant. Oh. Come on, Geralt, you need to like hit him with the stock. Unless she's evil. No evil can survive the holy fire. The holy fire in lions burns. Oh, and she's dead already. Behold the flame of grace and mercy. Come on, Geralt. I need you to put it out, bro. Fire for you, freak. Nice, slow burning. You'll beg for mercy in all the voices known to you by the others of your species. No, 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 no. None. I wanted only to live like you. Help me, kind folk. Please. Good luck. A Doppler. A Doppler? What is that? A species that looks like like the doppelgangers type thing? Were they both one of those? Sure hope Dudu hasn't met the same fate. Uh. Why the stench is entirely different. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Oh, doppelganger, exactly. Well, I'm a Doctor Who fan, so I understand that doppelganger, just because someone's a, like, if the species is a doppelganger, doesn't exactly make them evil. A lot of times that be, you know, because of their species, they just have an inherent difficulty with, you know, living a normal life amongst others. But I guess no matter what, eat, no matter what their intentions are, people would probably, you know, fear something that can look like anyone they want. So I do understand the reasoning, but that doesn't make it not flawed. Hey, sod off. We're looting here. You lost. Want you gone by the time I count to three. One. Hear that? Two. Ooh, look he. Thinks he can scare us off. Three. Shut up, fight. Oh, hold up. <laughs> Not good. Okay, hold up. Oh, my goodness. I have not seen it. Dude, it's kind of hot in my room right now. Our Novigrad, shining a brilliant pearl among cities. It's gonna make me watch that again. Sure hope Doo Doo hasn't met the same fate. Doo Doo. Yeah, that'd be a pretty crappy fate, wouldn't it? Dude, that's kind of crazy. I had this weird dream that I saw you guys already. Let's talk. Not here for the loot. Interested in the sorcerers who lived here. And we're supposed to believe that. Yeah. Most likely I did in some rat trap with the rest of them. Why is she in hiding? Who's she hiding from? Temple gods cracking down. All mages are fair game. Yeah, they round them up like rats. Who might know? Someone's got to know more. I'd look for her in a putrid grove. Lovely name. Putrid Grove. Interesting, as names go. A hive of scum and freakery, if there ever was one. 
No decent folk show their hides there. That why you think I should look for my friend there? Oh, I meant no offense. Where's the Putrid Grove? Putrid Grove. Where is it? I wouldn't know. Rumor has it, it's a place for freaks and oddities. You'd fit in well there. Maybe. Thing is, gotta know how to get there. They say you gotta get there through the sewers, but you gotta enter them outside of town. Few know where exactly, though. Ask a beggar. Or spot yourself a thief. Follow him. Beggars and thieves gotta pay tribute to the king of beggars. Word is, they do it in the grove. Mean to say the local beggars have a king? Crown, scepter, and all that? Wouldn't scoff, mate. King of beggars, it's a moniker. Yeah, for a man who everyone in Novigrad respects deeply. And watch yourself. Menger himself don't even go to the grove. Why is that? Someone call for me. Wonder why. It's you. Menger. Temple God. Thieving vermin to the confession chamber. What, but sir, what's the offence? This is some sorcerer's bitty shop. Think that gives you the right to steal her property? Well, sorcerers, mages of all types are outlaws. But by law, the temple guard takes possession of their belongings. And the rule of law still holds in Novigrad. And hey, you didn't see me taking anything. You know a bat can sniff out a moth a mile away. It's about their hearing, not sense of smell. Got nothing to do with their sense of smell. It's about their hearing. Well, well. Man knows his bats. Here I thought you only cared about monsters. And as bats sense moths, so I sense freaks. And start by warning them. Novigrad's no place for your kind. Got nothing on me. Who is it for then? Heard Novigrad was no place for mages. Now you're telling me it's no place for witchers. So who's it a place for? Righteous folk professing the one true faith in the eternal fire. Nothing I can do to you now. But just know that I know you're here. One misstep, one error. You'll make a mistake, it's inevitable. I'll be the first to learn of it. And when I do, it'll be standard procedure. Like for every magic oddity who dares taint this city's air. I dare you to try something. Be seeing you. I dare you to try something. I absolutely double dog dare you to try something. Because you don't know me, bro. I'm the Negro Geralt, bro. You are not doing anything to me. And I'm taking this stuff. Bro, do not do not disrespect me. Do not come at me sideways, bro. Do not come at me sideways. You will learn. You will learn, bro. It's mine. All this is mine. That's my girl Wind's stuff is mine too. Man. Well, I'm sure, uh, I wouldn't, I'm sure, uh, dang, they really looted this whole place. Examine. Rush. Only ever known Triss to use one like this. Hmm. Mine, this mine, this mine, this mine. Mine too. My evening with a vampire. You will no doubt call me a liar, a cheat, and a madman. You will shake your head in pity and snort in disbelief. But I promise you. I swear on all the gods, everything which you shall read in the pages to follow is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I met the vampire of which I write years ago in an inn in Beauclair. Beauclair. He introduced himself to me as Regis and said he was a barber and a medic, since he looked in every aspect like a mortal man. I might never have even inspected his true nature had not a fire broken out shortly thereafter in the establishment in which we were residing. This Regis if that truly was his name, stood completely untouched by the flames, whereas my own clothing quickly caught fire. The vampire carried me out of the burning inn, saving my life from certain death, then treated my numerous wounds. At first, Regis refused to answer my query on as to how he miraculously survived the furnace like temperatures <coughs> inside the burning inn without so much as a scratch on his body, nor a hair singed on his head. 
Eventually, however, he must have sensed I was a man of the world, who one who had not jumped to hasty judgments based on appearances or species and revealed his identity, along with the great number of highly interesting facts. According to Regis, not all vampires are alike. This vast family contains both mindless katakans, fledder, fledders, and ik, ik, blah, 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 ikimaras, ikima, ikimaras, who in form resemble overgrown bats far more like humans, as well as alps and br uh, all these words, bro. Bru, 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 bru yeah, that. Who look remarkably, remarkably like commonly comely maids. In addition to these, there are even more powerful higher vampires, to which genus belong, to, uh, my, blah, 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 belong my unexpected acquaintance. Bro, this dude talks like too much for my IQ. The accent is not on point, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm trying, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's too much, man. I'm stumbling over everything, too. Not even a witcher can discern a higher vampire from a mortal man. Contrary to popular belief, they cannot be killed by pounding aspen stakes into their chests nor cutting off their heads. Nor, as I can vouch for based on personal experience by fire, they do not fear running water, garlic, or the symbols of any creed. It might be some consolation to learn a vampire's bite does not turn a human into one of their number, and they do not in any way need our blood in order to survive. To them, it is merely a delicacy in which they indulge from time to time, like men do with fine wine. Regis asked me to keep his tale to myself, but now as I lay on my deathbed, I feel that I must share the secret knowledge, even if it means breaking my word to this most noble individual. I don't feel like reading this one. Wallahi, I'm finished. Herbs, roots, just turned to healing. Hey, bro, let's 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 be real here. The accent was on point, guys. Come on, I'm pretty sure we all understand. Come on, y'all know I was born in the UK, right? Yeah, I was born in the 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 Florida UK. Each beast heron described in two manners ye may hunt. Either ye seek ye tracks, follow and strike the foulness wherever in its wild ye find it, or lure it to a chosen place and engage it there in advan advantageous battle. The latter poses less risk, for the hunter exposes no chance for an unexpected fight. Note, however, that beast is a that to lure a beast into a trap, first its tastes and behaviors ye must know. As for fork tails, Bait them thusly, pound a stake into the soil, bind the goat to it, then ye hide in near toe shrubbery post haste. The beast lured by the caprine odor will not f will without fail come soon. If it is a griffin ye seek to slay, take your buckthorn from deep water. I, I I'm not gonna lie, I don't know what this I don't know what this accent is anymore. If it's a griffin ye seek to slay, I'm starting to sound like Mrs. Incredible. If it's a griffin ye seek to slay. Take your buckthorn from deep water. The, the mighty stench from the from this herbs is to griffins like fresh roasted meat of the primest sort. And so come they will forthwith, though far away they may be. Turn into drowners and water hags. It's all known to the and all the sun green fists, rotting molly, the loves of the trolls, the common and all their weakness. Yeah, that was that was not my finest moment. Amulets are emanating magic. Gotta be Triss's. She was allergic to potions. She's gonna hate me though, because my lips always about to be smelling like potions. Y'all already know on a Friday night it's all about them swallows. As a as a mule is neither booty nor horse, though it has a traits of both. So are witchers neither mages nor common men. Witchers are able to cast simple spells they call signs, drawing on the basis of telekinesis, art, pyrokinesis, igni. Hypnosis, Axie, and so on. They are not, however, capable of utilizing more complex spells. Indeed, they treat real magic with reserve and distrust. Widespread in their ranks is an irrational nigh onto superstitious fear of teleportation. Let me remind you that deadly accidents during translocation travel only occur once per hundred instances of travel. This aversion sturdily stems from the fact that witchers do not possess inborn magic talents, but instead gain them during their infamous trial of the grasses. It can thus be said that their casting spells is an affront to nature, as is in fact everything witchers do. Do 
You Scottish? Oh man, you guys really want to hate me, don't you? And you put up a yen versus uh, Tris vote? Okay. Let's do that. I'll gift some subs too while I'm at it. I think I can gift some more subs for the, the month, so. Um, did they fix it? They still haven't fixed it. Or I can do it here. I actually have to go to my own stream to find out. Mm. Just realized... Wait, did it? There we go. Okay. Let me close my window. It's dark outside now. Um, YouTube, you wanna you wanna do the thing? You wanna do the thing? Membership gifting. Oh, I have ten. Oh yeah, it's a new month. I didn't give away the last five. I don't think. All right, there's five subs. Shout out to everybody who got the subs just then. The membership. Oh, V just got. She just got one too. She was lurking. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Um, now let's put up the poll. I might give another more, but I want to consistently stream this one. Tris or Yen. All right, guys, there's a pretty obvious answer on this poll. There should be a pretty obvious answer on this poll. So let's uh, let's uh, I'm expecting proper. I'm, I'm expecting the right answer here, guys. The right answer. All right, now let's get back to the game now. <laughs> let's get back to the game. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yo, <laughs> Yo, everyone say hello to Putty Apple. That's my homie. Show some love in the chat. I'm waiting for her to start her channel. I'm waiting for it, dude. I'm telling y'all, it like the day Putty Apple starts streaming or something, bro. Bro. Kisses. Never knew how to drop him on the floor. Hmm. Give me the loot. The Rose of Remembrance. All dried up. Hmm. A conviction has arisen amongst both mages and the hoi poli uh, that witches barely rise uh, hairs little breath above animals, that they are deformed and bloodthirsty mutants that, and that in slaking this thirst, they do not limit themselves to the fluids of monsters. Meanwhile, the research and observations of Virgil of uh, Ben Ard paint an entirely different picture of the, of the cast. Of course, it is indisputable fact that the mutations witchers undergo influence their temperament, immune system, strength, and endurance, yet one cannot consider them unthinking beings forged only for killing as a result. In fact, witchers cultivate a unique culture, a specialized body of knowledge, an effective training system, and even a code of honor. They know an incredible amount about the effects of ingesting various organic and inorganic substances, and also a small amount, but nevertheless something about the fundamentals of magic, by which I mean the simple spells they call signs, on the surface the witchers appear to be a homogeneous social entity, but in truth their fighting styles, training regiments, and worldviews differ significantly depending upon the school to which they adhere. The best known witcher schools on the continent are the school of the wolf, the school of the bear, the school of the griffin, the school of the viper, and the school of the cat. Hmm. That was everything in here. We got a little bit more information about Triss now, though. And she had a three story place all to herself, bro. That's kind of crazy. Yen past Triss, past Ace. 
match. <laughs> Let's go. Y'all know that I said y'all know the right answer. I don't know. I don't know what the poll is at because <laughs> I don't actually have it up. All right. Who's about to disrespect me now? Who is it? Who are you, bro? What's going on here? Oh, oh. <laughs> apologies, governor. Fetch some metal, you wretch. Uh oh, yeah, been robbed. Thief. that was him running around the corner. Whoa, he's like a rice horse. Oh, why is the camera like that? Wait, 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 don't touch me, bro. I wish you would do something, bro. That's why you just got robbed, bro. <laughs> Who are you? Um, talk with the beggars. Did you just come around this corner? Oh, no, 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 no. This is different, though. Look for thieves on the main square and follow them carefully. Aren't you the guy who just did that? You've seen the new waitresses. Where are you going? Is it him? And I must resolve matters quickly. Oh, yeah. He, he just went up behind this guy? Buying or not? Devilish. <laughs> oh, he, oh, he about to do something. Oh, what you, hold on, wait, 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 what you doing over there? More cautious than I thought. Can't get too close. Yeah. Don't worry. I'm following him. Stop. I'm following thief. him. You are an offense to the majesty of the eternal fire. Appreciate y'all saying hi there and being nice. Like dung that flows to the Help a poor fellow out. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Make it natural, natural. Excuse me. Ah, where'd he go? There he is. Okay. La, 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 la. Did you notice me? Sir, sir, be merciful. Give us a crown, eh? My mum's sick, and if I don't feed her, well, she's like to die hunger. Where will I? F mm. I'll if okay. I'll give him money if he tells me. All right, I'll give you some coin, but you gotta tell me where the putrid grove is. Yeah, tell me. I don't know that. Keep your coin. I don't know a thing. Move on. Be gone. Well, you just lost your chance. Oh dang, he's gone, bro. F five. What a time to be alive. Uh, the bonny boats that prance by here. It's going through there. Oh, hold up. That's mine. That's mine. He's going. Where is he going? Arms for the poor. Don't say you lost him, bro. Ooh, he handed it off. I see your bald head shining in the sunlight, bro. Keep going. Oh, they they split up. More cautious than I thought. I can't get too close. It's it's funny that they still tracked him. They still track the other guy. Yeah, man. Thanks for uh, all the new people that are here. If this is your first stream from me, yo, I hope you guys enjoy. If you are, hit the like button for you, boy. Let's know that you guys want more uh, content like this on the channel. Subscribe and will also keep you notified for when it co you know more episodes come out. You okay, that's mine, that's mine, that's mine. Sorry. Sorry, the loot gremlin mode kinda came out for a second. That's mine, that's mine, 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 mine. Mom, don't let me talk to strangers. Okay, well get lost before I Alright, never mind. I was gonna chop his head off, but this isn't the game for it. Skyrim has taught me anything, I will need a mod for it. Eternal fire, why me? What do you seek, pain giver? Bro, what are these Sith Lords doing here, bro? What about Siri? Siri's my daughter. She's not in the running. I kind of can't think that way, even if like as a man, you know, of a comparable age, I kind of can't look at her that way because in the game, I'm put in a more father role towards her. Even though 
I am not old enough actually to be be her father. Dude, I oh, okay, I see his bald head over there. I almost lost him. But, but the blinding light coming from his bald head showed me exactly where he was. Oh, he handed it off. What you just put in there, bro? Oh, I guess I do have to bring him. No, 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 no. Okay, he's gone. Okay. My strength's gone. Yeah. Open up. Who are you and what do you want? I'm your worst nightmare. What have you got back there? Doing some sightseeing. Kind of curious about what's beyond this gate. My brother-in-law was curious. Worms been eating him for five years now. And I'm about to eat you too. How about that? Huh? Take a look. What do you see? Yellow eyes. Pair of swords. Mutated killer, me thinks. Heard this place was a meeting spot for oddities. Heard right. Now the password, get him free. Don't know it. Got to contribute to the Graves upkeep. Hey, yo, Omar. Don't know the password. <laughs> Pay up there. Dude, I don't have my delusion up. Hey, yo. Uh, hold on, video viewers. Y'all see how wild stream chat can be? Hey, yo. Huh? Arrest this man. Catch. You may enter. Oh, right after you leave me your weapons. Oh, now, now, we're not doing that. Sorry. No chance. I have to. It says that'll end the conversation. Fine. Make sure you don't lose them. No worries. Be waiting for you once you're done with the king. Trust me, I don't need these swords to end everybody here. I do. I need to invest in my Jedi mind tricks, bro. Wait, hold up. Let's look at the character menu again. Um, signs. I need that Delulu. I need that go up. Oh, yeah, I have the exploding shield. I just don't have it on. I'm kind of waiting till the next tree opens up at the next level. Then I'll put it on. Delusion. Hmm. I just like my attack power being 20, bro. Gourmet is great. Eating food generates vitality for 20 minutes. That's pretty nice, but I'm, I'm starting to feel like that's kind of unnecessary. 20 minutes is a long time, you know, and by, I'm not in no fight for no 20 minutes. And even in the middle of a dungeon, I can just meditate and then get all my swallows back. And it's not like the food still doesn't heal, even if it's just on a lot shorter of time. I feel like sun and stars is a lot more necessary. Ron's got me feeling some kind of way. You know, after all the suspicious woods I've done on this channel, I'm surprised I didn't think about saying that in that video. F5, what a time to be alive. What else? Thank you, my lord. The right miracle you've worked. I'd like to repay Good, sir. Convince those knaves on the city council that spells are not needed on a whim, but positively indispensable. I won't listen, Ooh. my lord. They're scared of anger. Look what I found! That That's a pain, Please convey that if any of them get fall it? ill, it's they can stick in the, in the flames of the eternal it. fire. You now, look me I'm straight in, in the eyes and lie, just like your pa. <laughs> You're a good lad. Now Dang. Now play. Mummy's got... So, how are things? Good. More and more people come to our secret clinics. Oh, here she what is. is. About time we made something clear, sorceress. Yes, high time. Me and my men will manage just fine without the help of you or any other mages. But you, well, without our help, you're sitting ducks for the temple guard. Who do I spy? Geralt? Of, of Rivia. See you two know each other. See you two know each other well. I was curious whether you'd managed to find me, Witcher. 
Got something to take up with me? Am I mistaken, or you got something to take up with me? Who knows? Man with two swords and the skill to use them could be very useful these days. Could have sent some underling to fetch me. Could have. But I admit I wanted to see how you'd manage. See if you're as crafty as you are well crafted. See, Witcher? I've got plans. Big plans. Far reaching plans to reshape this city head to toe. I but see. I'm seeking a seat on the city council. City Council is a puppet troop with a hierarchy of the Church of the Eternal Fire as its puppeteer. Until recently, that is, when Radovid and his witch hunters took the reins. The semblance of power don't interest me. Hmm. What do you want? A man with a vision. One day, the so-called free city of Novigrad will be truly free. But before that can happen, we've got a rid it of superstition, farting around about the hallowed essence of the eternal fire. Nonsense for kiddies. Apparently not. Cheering crowd at the execution. Mostly adults. Any crowd a rabble will cheer to the stench of burning flesh. But one day, folk will understand the eternal fire's naught but a leash around their necks. He's kind of spinning, though. They call this place the Putrid Grove. But it's the rest of Novigrad that's putrefied. This year's the last bastion of normality, sanity, reason. I'm actually glad someone like you's found his way to our city. Because it will be our city one day, Geralt. Mark my words. Yours, plural. Yeah, mine. And me friends. But that's a tale for another time. For now. I'll leave you two alone, because I can see, well, you clearly need it. Appreciate it. Gerald, I have a lot of things to take care of in town. I'll be glad to tag along. So to my understanding, uh, Triss is when Geralt lost his memory. This is the girl he was dating because he forgot He's about Yennefer. Helping me to survive, actually. Six months ago, if somebody said Triss Marigold would be working for a Novigrad criminal, I'd never have believed it. Six months ago, Triss Marigold. No, I missed the dialogue. Madam Sorceress, beautiful as ever. Damn shame to part. Don't fret. Bound to be back soon. Nice to hear a few kind words, but my friend needs his weapons. Course, I got him. Said I'd have him, give him back. So I'm giving him back. Here's your junk. Don't pull a fast one on me, bro. Thanks. You watch out for yourself, miss. Novigrad's not what it used to be. Not a city for you. I feel like I'm gonna like this story arc. I take it you're in Novigrad on important business. Important doesn't do it justice. I'm looking for someone. More precisely? Young woman who's like a daughter to me. Her? Here? No, impossible. She was here. There are witnesses, evidence. Was hoping you'd heard something. You've been here a while. I need you to help me find something, anything, a trace. I'll do everything I can, of course. Who might know more? I like Tris. I like her voice actors a lot. She's a pleasant sounding voice. Hello, Klug. Managed to get those magic incense ingredients? Yes, somewhat with uh, difficulties, you might say. I was walking along the canal with a sack full of goodies for you. Looked up and spied a trio of temple guards coming the other way. Get to the point, Klug. No time today for one of your long stories. Wait! A sack full of magicalities and they were coming straight towards me. I don't easily frighten, but uh, I felt a cold sweat on my arse, I did. I'm afraid I had no choice. I dropped the sack in the water. I had to! When asked why, I claimed it contained a dead cat. You shan't believe this, but they believe me. I need that package, Klug. I've got a contract. It must be on the canal bed. 
Luckily, it was heavy enough to sink. I'm sure it'll turn up if you search. You expect me to pay you, then die for my goods into that ice-cold filth? I'll get in. I can do that. Where'd you toss the package? Near the crane. Second bridge in from the harbor. I didn't expect such devotion. Wanted to freshen up anyway. Let's go. Stop. Hear that? They've come for us. The fool didn't break until I began to prick his heels. Every man's got his sensitive spots. Interrogated a mage once. Pain couldn't touch him. Tore off his fingernails, crushed his bollocks. Nothing. Dang. Turned out he was devilishly ticklish. I placed a beetle on his belly and set a mug atop it. Damn near went mad. We were lucky this time, but you'd best leave via the sewers. The trapdoor's in the floor. Take care of yourself, Klug. Okay, so I can take this stuff though, right? That's mine. Good day for commerce. That's mine, that's mine. Hold up, hold up, that's mine too. That's mine, that's right there, that's mine. Loot! It's mine, it's mine, it's mine, it's mine, it's mine, it's mine, it's mine. It's mine. Hold up, hold up. I'm not done, I'm not done. I'm not done robbing you. That's mine too, that's mine. Oh, that's mine. That's mine too, right there. Excuse me. That's also mine. I left this here. All right, this is mine. Excuse me. I left this over here. That's, that's my fault. I apologize leaving all my stuff everywhere. That's mine too. That was a gift. That's mine. That's not mine though. That's not mine. Safety hazard and stuff, you know. All right. Oh, I can't believe I left this stuff over here, too. That's crazy, man. I just leave stuff everywhere. Silly me. Silly me. Ow. Girl, it did not hurt that bad, bro. Whoopee! Hmm. I was just watching my... F Are you okay? Oh. Oh! Oh, the water looks terrible. Maybe it's a graphic setting I have on that makes it look so bad. There's a draft. Should be an exit here. Klug wouldn't have sent us here if there wasn't. Must be a lever on this wall that will open Sorry, Klug, Klug left some stuff for me over here. I saw the, the thing, the switch I have to hit, by the way. I just have to... I have to get some stuff that uh, Clue left for me down here. Sorry. Sorry, this is, all, uh, this is my stuff. Excuse me. Free city of Novograd. The name actually used to mean something. The very reason so many mages came here after the massacre at Loch Muin. Thought they'd be safe from Rad of its Reapers. Instead, they jumped out of the frying pan into the fire. But Novigrad stands on top of a mountain of coin and winning a. Dang, I keep Judging missing it because I didn't Clue know it was the there. The should be around here on the bottom, unless the poor man was mistaken. He's been forgetful ever since Manga interrogated him. Seems to be suffering from a persecution complex, too. Current must have carried the sack seaward. I'll swim towards the port. Coming with? Uh, maybe some other time. Don't know what you're missing. Water's thick with pungent oils. Guessing it'll do wonders for my complexion. All right, Tress. The uh. All right. Let's go under here. There it is. Right. Oh, there's actually two things down here. He's card line. I am card line. Why is Witcher Sims blue while mine are red? Yeah, it's because I'm card line. <laughs> actually, you might be colorblind. You're seeing it as blue. I don't know, bro. You might be colorblind. You OK? Ooh. Wait, hold up. I might not be able to take that.
All right. Wait, I still didn't find it. That wasn't it. It says find the lost parcel. That means I didn't find it. Oh. Leather sack. There it is. All right. Boom. Go. Gotta get the guy. That's crazy. <laughs> no, the gaslighting. <laughs> What's up, Aztec Warrior? Hope you enjoyed the stream. Find the parcel? Or did you get wet for no reason? Nothing like a refreshing swim in a filthy canal. Found a few fish, a rusty anchor, the carcass of a boat. Oh, and this. Oh, my package. Hope the contents aren't soaked through. Oh, you're a doll. It's definitely soaked through, sorry. Seem to be in your element. Still remember my elements? How I use them? Come on, six months isn't that long. It's not like I'm senile. But you do have a history of amnesia. I've recovered my memory completely. Good. That should stop people from taking advantage of you. Someone's been taking advantage of me. I have, for one. I've never even intimated. We need to hurry. I should like some older. Some women like older men, you know, <laughs> old enough to be their great grandpa. Greetings, sorceress. Greetings, Brandon. I didn't expect you to bring company. Problem? Is that a problem? By the eternal fire, no. I'm surprised, that's all. Together, I expect you resolve things twice as fast. You've the look of true experts. But I'd prefer you not to tarry and begin. Triss, you and Brandon here. You've agreed a price. We settled on a full coin purse. Brandon and Co. is a serious outfit. We've the largest granary in all Novigrad. Wow. You'll pay in advance. You're a merchant, familiar with how commerce works. Of course. Honest pay for honest work. Half up front, half once the job's done. You're asking a great deal. I'm a witcher. Gotta admit, I've met my share of people who say one thing beforehand, another after the fact. Mm. Very well. Your first installment. We need to place these crystals around the granary, near anything that looks rat-related. Okay. I'll cover half the space. You take the other half. Look for evidence of rat activity. Mm -hmm. Rat activity, I huh? I know what evidence of manticore activity looks like, but rodents? Geralt, we both rather be somewhere else. I'd rather be sitting in a royal council meeting, but they killed my king. Look for crevices and droppings. And maybe the giant rats, New they? York City rats I'll right here. The rats will leave. Can't do that without sprinkling incense. Don't really feel up to looking for rat shit. Stop whining. I like how uh, Geralt kind of opens up around certain people. You know, he, he acts so hard and stuff around like people he doesn't know that well. But when you can clearly tell the difference in the writing and stuff, you know, when it's somebody he does know uh, well. Looks like a good spot. I don't like that guy. Brandon? I don't either. He's much too fat. Can't help Dang. me. But no, notice how he didn't try to haggle? Must really want the rats out. Triss, he's a merchant. He makes his living by haggling. If I worried about that sort of thing, I'd starve to death in this city. Hey, what's wrong with fat people, bro? I'm overweight, so what? Bro, that just means there's more to love, bro. Don't disrespect fat people, bro. Don't disrespect. A master monster slayer in the world's largest city. Looking for rat shit. Jeez. Y'all are being so crazy <laughs> in the chat right now. I don't even know what's happening right now. Chris needed Geralt to lose all knowledge and memory of Yen before he even looked to her as an option. Humble yourself. I don't really know the series, though, so I would say he probably would have been down for it if it happened anyway. But again, I don't I don't know the, the other game. So maybe the Geralt before he lost his memories really wouldn't have considered her whatsoever, but am I missing some places? 
Can I actually go inside here? I feel like I looked everywhere. Didn't I put something here? Guess not. Missed that one. Think I plugged every hole in there. Yeah, oh, you're you're right. Trish is fat phobic. I don't know. I don't know about that. That's the point of Once away I from her. The incense, we'll have a moment to talk. Oh, oh, I have to talk to her. I thought she wow. was I thought she was casting her spell, so. Now we wait for them to scurry away. Interesting method. Never had much luck with rats. Once I hit one with a fork in complete darkness, trying to show off my witcher's senses. Masterful throw, really. Problem was no one else saw it. How could they in the dark? <laughs> so, what do you think? Rat catcher? It's a long way to fall from being advisor to Temeria's king. I'm just glad to see you safe and sound, and... Reconciled? Are you truly or just pretending? It's good there aren't any bad feelings between us. Uh... I was worried about seeing you again. Doubted it could be pleasant. We said everything there was to say six months ago. I don't want to go back to that. I'm not going back to it. It's just... It's one thing to say something, it's another to actually do it. We promise to remain friends. I hope nothing will change that. So, tell me how Yen's doing? How do you know I found her? You didn't answer my question. How's Yen? If there was a timeout for this decision, I'd be pretty upset. Um, <laughs> uh, Don't know yet. I ain't seen her in a long time. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Asking about anything specific. I ain't seen her, bro. Mind. I got my answer. What are you talking about? Don't look. Don't talk. Come on, bro got your answer what are you talking about bro come on i don't know bro don't tell me she knew to be fair i i don't know man i haven't seen her since the very beginning of the game is she good i don't know well, well. are love birds having themselves a little chat instead of working bro the work's the getting done. done Geralt, those are i know who they are tris my friends begged me to notify them if I encountered a mage, sorceress, what have you. Didn't have the heart to refuse. It's a trap, Geralt. This stank from the start. Let's agree your friends were never here. Now pay the rest and let's part in peace. You don't set the terms, mutant. Stay out of it. We're here for the witch. We're inseparable, see? Afraid you'll have to take us both. Geralt! If you say so. All right, we've talked. Do what you gotta. Just remember, I can't help but get in your way. Heard enough from this horse, son. As have I. Neither is to leave here alive. All right, she was right. She was right to call you fat. Get yourself out of fear. Get it from both sides. Hold up. Did you ever learn? Oh. Bastard hired me on the assumption he wouldn't have to pay me and trap like a child. If not for you, we need to find Brandon. Freaking Brandon, bro. 
Don't kill me. Good sir, no. They forced me. Had I not told them, they'd have set fire to my home, my warehouse. The mage hunters know no mercy. Neither do Spare I. Spare me, good man. Be not like those murderers. Shut up. I should kill you. Thing is, you'd be no good to anyone but the gulls as a corpse. So you'll live and pay us double. Now. F fine. Your coin. Now, get. Thanks, Geralt. Should watch out for yourself. No need. No need. Glad I could help. You know, I've been thinking who might know something about Siri. And I just got an idea. There's an Oniromancer in town. Korean an Oniromancer? Very capable, supposedly. Never trusted in Dreamer's abilities myself. Kareen's been very effective. You should at least try. She's taken a job close by. Follow the canal away from the fish market. The house is near the first bridge. Its owner, Dijon Kier, is a rich banker. Not coming with me? I've got some things to take care of. Another rat-infested warehouse? Not exactly. Nothing even remotely satisfying. Such are the times. It was nice seeing you again. It was nice to see you again. You too, Geralt. You should go now. Before Kareen goes back into hiding somewhere. What if I want to find you? I live in the bits, near the fish market. Stop by. It'd be nice. All right. See you later. Geralt's not at all like the character I thought he would be going into this game. All right again. Damn mages. He's not at all like what I thought he'd be. I thought he'd be basically stoic 24-7. Huh. Oh. Inside here? Er, where's the door? Maybe it's on the opposite side. Or it's... Wait. Is it down? No, it's... I thought there might be a, a small pathway. Just passing by, wanderer? Or do you seek something specific? Who's asking? Rudolf de Jonkier. Of those de Jonkiers, yes. My ancestors laid the foundations of this city. I now own its largest bank. Didn't need a recommendation. Name would have been enough. Father always said, all ought to know your merit, son. Don't hide them under a bushel. I'm looking for Kareen. I'm looking for Kareen Tilly. Oh, you've come to the right place, then. Kareen is inside. Been there for a few days, dreaming the home's history. The house's history? Why do you care about it? Why do you need to know the house's history? You a historian or on a whim? I bought this property a short while ago. Paid a pretty penny, I might add. Soon after, I witnessed... disturbances. Led me to fear the home might be haunted. What are the symptoms? Oh, they vary. Giggling in the night, and furniture moving about in the attic, and last week... Well, you shan't believe it. I found human feces in the parlor. Why are you standing here? Not interested in what's going on inside? Seeing it for yourself? I'm a banker. Cursed homes scare me. Do you know how a haunting can affect property value? Point of fact, Corinne requested she not be disturbed. Let me in. I'd like to go inside, look around. I don't usually let strangers rummage around my home. Twin swords, though. You're a witcher. You may enter, call that my whim. Truth is, hmm. we're already dependent on the black bars. Oh. Let me check this form. Yennefer? I'm surprised so many more people prefer Yennefer. Let me put this here. Un... Um... Unrequested...
Forgot to make this a pinned thing, pinned message. A lot of book nerds that in chat that go with Yennefer. Feels like all Witcher fans are just big book nerds. Started to um, realize how late it is. Kind of realizing how late it is. Um, wondering, should I call it here? Should I call it? It's a pretty short episode. Maybe what I'll do. Maybe what I'll do is I'll end. I'll just hard cut off the recording here and then just continue recording tomorrow. And so like one half the video is streamed and the other half is just not anymore. I feel like that'd be okay. That way you guys wouldn't get such a short episode. If I do that, then the episode, if I don't do that, then the epi and I keep it a short episode, the video will be up pretty early tomorrow. But if I don't do that and I do the, uh, but if I do do that and you know, and do uh, record more tomorrow, then I'd have a pretty long video but it might be up a little bit later. What do you guys think? My chat is trying to catch up for some reason. Refreshing. Refreshing. Also, I'm not used to the new placement of this webcam. So I'm like off to the side a lot and I hate that because I naturally lean more this way because I couldn't remember what spot I put my old webcam on. It, it just doesn't seem as right. If I'm actually here normally, it looks fine. But I naturally lean this way and stuff. Almost 2 a.m. here. Um, Yen is not wifey material. I feel like I don't know her that much. She, I mean, yeah, I met her first, but like, I don't know her like that. So that you, you guys should understand the perspective I'm coming from. I mean, it's not that late for me, but I also have plans. Um, I actually have some housework I have to do. Um, I have some housework I need to do, and then I have to go play Final Fantasy XIV uh, raids with a friend. It's 8.40 for me. Which sound panels you have? I have no idea. It's just a, f uh, a friend of mine, um, an IRL friend. He's also actually a, a pretty big YouTuber. He actually just gave them to me for free. He was getting more, and these are just old ones he had, and he just gave them all to me. Which is good, because sound panels can get expensive when you get as many as this. Definitely going to cost you a minimum of 100 Yeah, I think um, I will end it here. Um, it's going to be weird to just end a recording like that. I'll have to make sure I wear the same shirt so to not break the illusion for people <laughs> and stuff. Don't worry, this shirt is freshly washed. So, yeah, I, th I think I'm going to uh, end things here. Thanks for all the support tonight, guys. I know it was a kind of an off-the-cuff like, stream, and we did talk for a while. Uh, the stream is actually an hour longer than the video is, uh, surprisingly. The video is about an hour and 40 minutes long right now. Uh, I had a ton of fun. Um, this kind of makes me want to actually um, re stream some more of The Witcher 3. You know, I know it's supposed to be a recorded series, you know, but every now and then doing a stream version is kind of nice too, you know. Um, I'll try to make sure I have the VOD up still tonight. Uh, that, that way people who missed out on the stream or came in late can go back and see what they missed. If not, that's fine. Uh, eventually you guys will see the full video in the next couple of days. Um, it'll be a nice uh, meaty video. Definitely minimum of three hours. Hopefully I might even be able to get it to be four. We'll see. Um, but thanks for hanging out with me. It really means a lot. If you guys enjoyed this stream, you already know what to do. Leave me a like and a comment. It really does help your boy out in the YouTube algorithm. And, it, you know, we can all use a little bit more of that. And, of course, if you'd like to be notified for when I go live with more, when new videos come out, all you got to do is subscribe and hit the bell icon after doing so. It'll keep you notified about things. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> Seven hours or nothing. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Kingdom Ace, and remember everyone to play some games, have some fun, and enjoy your day today. Good night. Good night. I know it's pretty late for some of you guys. It was good talking with you guys. Thanks for all the first time viewers and stuff like that. I'll be back with more Witcher 3 soon, so I hope you guys have a good one. Thanks for all the kind words, BMT and everyone. Thank you. See ya. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.